let's say um, you're starting off fresh and you do not have an Instagram account. Well, this is usually how the screen looks like when you're first starting off with Instagram. They're going to ask you two ways on how to log in. One way you can see at the bottom, it says log in with Facebook. And the reason why it shows is because once again, Instagram and Facebook are technically partners. The owners kind of have shares with one another. So you can actually, if you have a Facebook account, you can use your same Facebook password to log in with your Instagram account. So if you're a frequent user with Facebook, this may be helpful logging in with Facebook because everybody that you follow on Facebook will be connected to your Instagram account. So if you do have Facebook, I encourage you to use this method because it's much quicker. And if you have family and friends already on Facebook, you can find them very easily on Instagram. However, if you do not have a Facebook account or you do not want to follow the same people you have on Facebook, you can sign up using a, your email address, a phone number, and a password. So does anybody have any questions on that or, or any confused about that? Okay. So like I said previously, you would need a email address and a phone number to create an Instagram profile. And when you create an Instagram profile, you're going to have to also create a unique username. And your username is how other people on Instagram can find you easily. Yes, they can put your first name and last name, but sometimes people are not comfortable putting out their first name and last name on Instagram. So instead you can have a, like a username where you could put your nickname and some numbers where your family and friends can easily identify you with that username. And most importantly, always save your information, whether that's in a notebook, on your phone, a piece of paper, because it's, it's very easily to forget all these passwords we use for different accounts and you don't always wanna use the same password for every single account that you have on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, your email address. We don't wanna use the same password because that's very easy where a hacker can easily join in your account, steal your information, pretend to be you. So instead it's always good to have different passwords for every single social media account you have. So another good thing about Instagram is that not everyone has to see your profile on Instagram. So like we were talking a little about in the beginning, some people use Instagram to market themselves, but other people just kind of want to use Instagram to search for things they are interested in. They don't really want to post on Instagram and you don't have to, not everyone needs to post on Instagram. So Instagram has a good feature where you can either put your profile on public or on private. So if you have a public profile, so let's say you are a celebrity, um, a company, a political figure, or you yourself don't mind your account being public, that means everyone on Instagram can see your profile. Um, all your family, your friends, um, strangers, they can all see your Instagram profile. You, they don't need to request for you to follow them. They can automatically always see your profile and all the updates when you post on Instagram. However, if you put your Instagram on private, only people who request you can see your profile. So if you only wanted your family and friends to see your profile, 
you can put your Instagram on private. So I'm going to go and screen share my phone to show you where to find this helpful feature because I know not everyone would like to have their Instagram public. My Instagram personally is not public, it's private. So, private, so a private profile is a good way to just use Instagram of only your small circle with your family and friends. So I'm going to screen share my, my phone now. Okay, so we could see here at the screen, the Instagram, this is how the Instagram icon looks like, whether you have an iPhone or a Samsung Android phone. Okay, so I'm now in the Instagram app and I'm going to go over to, I'm gonna look at the bottom of my screen and I'm going to find the little profile icon on the right hand side. So it's like a circle and I am on our RSS's Instagram. So I'm, I could easily locate where my profile is. So as you can see, I'm now on my profiles page and our RSS profile is a public profile, but let's say you were on your Instagram and wanted to make it private. What you wanna do is find the three lines in the top right hand corner, right here, I clicked on it. So we're gonna look at the top right hand corner and you can see we have a new menu has appeared with many different features and options that Instagram is always updating and adding. And what we wanna find is the settings. Setting is how we're going to make our Instagram private. So we're gonna to go to settings. And once again, it's a whole other new menu with different features as well. And we wanna to go to where it says privacy. Privacy is how we're going to make our accounts private. So only the people we want to see our Instagram can follow and view our post. So if I click on privacy, you can see at the top of the screen, it says private accounts. If I turned, if I pressed on that white circle, that is going to make our account private, but I'm not going to put it on private for our RSS account. But if you have a Instagram account and would like to do this feature, that is how you make your account private. So I'm gonna show you one more time. You have to be on your profiles page. So this is my page right here. I click on the three lines in the top right-hand corner. I find settings. I go to privacy and I'm gonna click on the circle that says private account. Once I click on that circle, then only the people that I want to see my Instagram can see it. Does anybody have any questions that you can unmute yourself or say it in the chat? Um, yes. I, I have two, two questions and I assume you'll, you'll get to them. One is how do I delete videos and photos that I didn't post and they're in the account but I don't want them there uh -huh. do I delete them and my other question which I guess you'll get to is if someone says they are following me uh -huh. do I want them to do I not want them to All right, so, okay so I'll go okay so the first one I'm gonna go over how to delete posts um, a little bit later Okay. But your second question actually relates to privacy and having a public profile. 
So let's say someone is following you that you may not know who they are, right? A stranger. Mm -hmm. You don't recognize that person to be your family or your friend. Mm -hmm. That is because you may have a public profile. And when you have a public profile, anybody can follow you. They, your account may stumble upon their the um, explore page for some reason. You may have similar interest and they found your account for some reason and they followed you. If you do not want um, strangers to follow you, make sure to do these steps that I just did, making your account private. Oh. Once you make your account private, you won't have this issue where um, you know, strangers or people you may not recognize automatically follow you. Instead, when it's a private profile, you get to choose who follows you. And one, um, um, this PowerPoint that I'm showing is going to be up on the website. So if you um, need to review the steps once again, it'll be on the PowerPoint. Here I have the steps in writing on how to make your profile private, but I will share this PowerPoint with everyone. And then I also have it in visuals as well. Okay. So a big topic on Instagram is how to search for our friends and family and others. So once again, for on Instagram, not only our friends and family are on there, but also political figures, celebrities, clothing brands. Um, there's millions of types of brands and companies on Instagram as well. And I'm going to first show it visually on the PowerPoint, and then we'll go over on the phone on how to search for different type of people on Instagram. But whether you have a Samsung or a iPhone, or even if you're using your iPad or your tablet uh, for Instagram, you're always gonna wanna look for this. On the bottom of the screen, you can see there's a magnifying kind of icon. That is our search icon. And it's either going to be at the bottom of the screen on your phone, or at the top. But what's most importantly, don't really look for where it's located, but recognize the icon. So the search icon that looks like a magnifying glass is how you search for people, brands, companies, your friends, your family. It's in the, it's the search icon. So once you click on that search icon, you'll see a new menu appear which you can actually now start to type the person's name. So if you know your granddaughter's first name or last name or username, which I mentioned before, because many people do not like to put their first and last name on Instagram, but if you know their username, you can type that in the search bar and they should be appear once you search them. So you can first try with their first name and last name, but if that doesn't work, you can always ask them what their username is. Because also when you put a first name and a last name, there can be also thousands of others who have the same exact first name and last name. So sometimes that's not really helpful and you need to find their unique username because that's going to be specific to them and not the same Matt, thousands of Matts and Sarahs that are on Instagram. So I'm going to once again, screen share my phone so we can see how we search for sp specific people on Instagram and search for our family and friends. So you could see we are at, at the bottom of the screen and you can see that we have many different icons at the bottom of the screen. 
And what we are looking for is the search icon that I showed on the PowerPoint. So it is the second icon on the left-hand side. So what we see right now is our explore page, which I'm going to talk about in the next section. But once I clicked on that search icon, a search bar appeared at the top of the screen. And that is how we can start finding people that we're interested in, our family, our friends, and more. So I'm going to use Joe Biden as an example because, well, for Joe Biden, he's a public figure. Uh, so he's gonna have his first name and last name as his username. So it's very simple and easy to find Joe Biden. So you can see when I searched him up, they're giving me recommendations of many people that, that could be Joe Biden. And then there's others that are using his name as well. So if it's a celebrity, a public figure, a brand, if that's who you're looking for on Instagram, make sure they have a blue check mark next to their name. A blue check mark means that that is their real verified account. And only celebrities, public figures, brand companies have this symbol. So let's say you liked a clothing company like Nike, for example, we'll search for Nike. You can see that Nike as well has a blue check mark next to it. And that is because it's, that's the real verified account. Whereas if you keep looking down at the other recommended accounts, those are just uh, people using Nike in their Instagram name, but it's not actually the real Nike account. So blue check marks are very important because if let's say someone is trying to message you on Instagram and you may think it's the person, but if they don't have a blue check mark, it could be someone trying to scam you. And this is for public figures, ce celebrities and brand and clothing companies. Of course, when you are searching for your family and friends, they will not have a check mark. So you have to verify and make sure that is your family and friends. But if it is public figures, celebrities, once again, if I click on his profile, you know this is his profile because of the check mark. You can see he has 17 million followers. So this is his real official account. But let's say you were searching for your family and friend, and I will put Joe Biden again. You can see at the top, you have different categories such as accounts, audio, tags, places. When you're searching for your family and friends, make sure that you click on the account tabs so you can see all of the different options. Of course, everyone is going to be different. So when you put your family member and friend's name, you're just going to have to either click on the profile and see if it's them. You could see the, you, got, you can look at the picture and try to verify if that's them in the picture. Your family and friend may have given you the username, which is, much more helpful because once again, a username is a unique to them and not to others. So Joe Biden is Joe Biden, that's his username. That His first name and last name gets to be his username because he's the only jo um, official Joe Biden. So Instagram gave it to him. But you can see if we look at the bottom of our screen, there's different usernames, the first couple, caramel ice cream world 
has Joe Biden's name for some reason, but you know that's not really Joe Biden because their username is Caramel Ice Cream World. So that's how you would verify. So that is how we search for people on Instagram. So make sure you always either use their first name and last name or what's more helpful is their unique user name. So we're going to move on. So now that we are at the explore page, we're actually going to talk a little bit about it. So right now on my screen, what I'm looking at is what we call the explore page of Instagram. Your explore page, my explore page is going to look different because Instagram makes your explore page based on the accounts that you interact with and what you enjoy, what you like. So all of your interests are what's going to be shown on the Instagram Explore page. So if you're someone who likes to watch dog videos, cats, you're your animal lover, when what I'm looking at right now, my Explore page, it would probably show tons of different dogs and cats and birds, but it's not it's showing me different different things, fashion, videos, funny content. So everyone's explore page is a little different. So once you start following people, liking photos and videos, then your explore page will change and have everything that you enjoy on there. So this is how you would you could scroll through here and look at pictures and videos if you wanted to. If, because once you start liking stuff, it'll have things that match with your content and personality. Yes. But, I know, oh yes, you have a question? Yes. So how do you indicate that you like a photo? Yes, that's going to be when um, I talk about deleting okay. photos, yes. Okay. So I'm going to stop screen sharing for a moment. So I can show the PowerPoint. So like I said before, our Explore page is a collection of content based on someone's individual interest. So this is a picture that I got from Google and you can see that this person's Explore page is has fashion, nails, coffee. So everyone's explore page is going to look a little bit different. All right. So another huge thing that corresponds with the explore page is hashtags. And Instagram was most likely the first application that created hashtags and kind of what made it so popular today. Hashtags are a way to find specific topics on Instagram. So if you're looking for tutorials on fashion, knitting, home decor, uh, cars, dogs, cats, if you're looking for something specific, hashtags are a great way to find it. And let's say when you post something on Instagram, you as well can use, use hashtags to lead people to find things that you post as well. So if we look here and we put um, fashion, in our search bar, you can see 300 million people use hashtag fashion, fashion stylist, fashion blogger. So hashtags are just a kind of a way to communicate with others and bring people to your page. So if you're a person who wants to keep your profile private, like I mentioned in the beginning, you really wouldn't wanna use hashtags. But if you're someone who wants to have a public profile, 
hashtags are a great way to bring get a healthy audience because they'll like what you're posting so if you're always posting about fashion people who also enjoy fashion will start to follow you so i'm going to show you hashtags and then we're going to discuss a little bit about liking photos saving photos deleting photos once again, we are at our explore page, which is a place that has all of the things that you like on Instagram. But if we look at the top where the search bar is, the same place where we searched, where we search for our friends and family and celebrities and public figures, this is also a place where we can find topics, topics that we enjoy, we always want to see. You can even see at the top of the screen, it's showing you different topics that you can search. Food photography, right now it's shown, then it's showing home decor. So it's just a place where you could put any topic that you like. I'm going to put fashion so you can see what happens when I type that topic. So you can see that when I put fashion, different videos and pictures of people showing off their outfits, um, just showing the outfit itself is here. But if we wanted to make it a little bit more specific, we can use a hashtag to find exactly what we are looking for. So if we put hashtag fashion, And went over to our tags section, hashtag tags. We can be even a little bit more specific to what we're finding. Do we want to just find fashion? Maybe it's fashion style. Maybe we want to look for fashion inspiration. We want to find posts about fashion designers. So hashtags are topics, but it's just a little bit more specific to what you want to find on Instagram. And this can be about any topic that you like. So I'll use, I'll use again another example such as knitting. If I put hashtag knitting, you can see it's giving me just a broad example of videos of knitting. But if I went over to the tax page, you can see we're getting a little bit more specific of what we want to find. Knitting yard, knitting inspiration, knitting pattern. So just a, a, a more helpful way to find exactly what we want to search for. That's why hashtags are very helpful. And they're actually used on many social medias today. People use hashtags on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter. So hashtags are very popular. And most, most all social medias today use hashtags. So now we're going to go into our final topic, which is actually interacting with others, deleting pictures, saving pictures. So if we go to our profile, so this is the RSS profile, you can see we have 65 posts, but let's say one of the posts we did not enjoy or didn't like, and we wanted to delete a picture or video. So what do you have to do to delete a picture well, first, you're going to have to find the picture that you want to delete. So let's say we wanted to delete this. I'm not actually going to delete it, but I'll show you how. At the top, at the right-hand corner, we have three small dots. That is our little menu, more button. And that's where we're going to be able to actually delete this post. So if we clicked on the three dots at the right-hand corner, this works 
the same on iPhones and Samsung, Android, iPad, tablets. It's going to be the same for everyone. If we click on the three dots in the right hand corner, a menu appears. And there's many different options that we can choose from because Instagram is always growing and updating their apps. But what we're looking for is the word delete, which is in red and it's at the bottom of our screen. If we clicked on delete, this will delete my photo and a new menu will pop up that says, are you sure you want to delete this picture? And you say yes, and the photo gets deleted. So once again, it's the three dots in the right-hand corner, and you hit the delete at the bottom of the screen. If um, let's say you didn't want to delete it, you just wanted to archive it, you could hit archive instead where it says arch archive. Um, the other options are kind of more marketing purposes, such as like hiding the like count. If you didn't want people to see how many likes you had, uh, you could turn off the comments, which means nobody can't comment on your page. Allow re remixing just means that another company can use your photo and make a video or post about it. So the rest are more just like for marketing and companies. So let's say you're just a regular user on Instagram, a casual user. I would say to just pay attention to archiving and deleting. Unless you are going to start a brand on Instagram, then you can start using the other options. But the delete button, it is to delete, permanently delete the photo. So that is how we delete photos. But we're going to go over now liking and saving photos. And before, when I did talk about YouTube last week, I did say on YouTube, you don't have to worry about liking YouTube videos or commenting, that doesn't really matter. But Instagram, it is a little different. It actually is crucial to like photos and save photos. Because once again, if you do not like or save photos, your explore page, this right here, is not going to show things that you like. Instead, it's just going to show um, posts that are trending, or they're just going to assume you like it. So some of these videos that you see here on this page, like um, the child dancing with her dad, that's probably being shown because it's very popular and has tons of likes and views. So if you do not start liking posts that you enjoy, you're just going to see popular videos and posts. I mean, if that's something that you would want, that is fine. But if you want to enjoy Instagram and have things that, uh, that are similar to your interests, it is very crucial to like posts, safe posts. So you can um, see videos about fashion, knitting, home decor, um, you know, animals, whatever that you like. It's crucial to give, give it a like or a save so you can always see things that you enjoy. And once again, let's say we um, clicked on one of these photos, like this home decor photo. This is how the standard Instagram posts all look like. If we look at the bottom of our screen, we have a heart, a com a circle which with a little line, which is how to comment, a paper airplane icon, and then the little, like a square bookmark. Those are the standard icons on Instagram currently right now. It may update and change, but for right now, these are the main icons to always look out for and memorize. So to like a photo, you can heart it by tapping the screen. So if you double tap the picture, that is how you like the photo. So, it, so since I like this photo, 
hopefully Instagram starts seeing that I like home decor and starts recognizing that that's the content that I always want to keep seeing. So they're going to continue to show me whole home decor. Um, excuse me. Yes. Um, you said two things, but I'm not sure if they were the same. You click on the heart and you double click no. on the photo. Or? No, no, it's two. It's two ways. You can also you can click on the heart if you want, or mm -hmm. you can just double tap on the photo. Mm -hmm. and that also is a way to like a photo. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter which one that you do. Mm -hmm. So that's how we like photos. And if we're next to the heart is the comment button. If we click on this circle, that it is a way to leave a comment on this person's or company's Instagram page. You know, you, you're not required to comment. You don't have to. Commenting is not the same like liking or saving. I mean, uh, commenting is just showing a way of appreciation for the photo. Mm -hmm. Next to the comment button is a little paper airplane and that is a share button. So if you wanted to share this picture with other people that you follow on Instagram, let's say um, you really like this photo and you wanted to show your friend hey i think this couch is really nice um maybe we should find a similar couch like that well you would click on that share paper icon and you can send it to your friend or your family member and then all the way on the right hand corner is a bookmark and that is the save icon why should you save photos? Well, let's say if you're someone who enjoys uh, tutorials, uh, you wanted to look back on it, you can always save it and see it later. And that's what that bookmark icon is. So you could see it said save to collection when I saved it. You can always tap it again to unsave it. Can you say what the uh, icons are on the bottom? Yes, I know the magnifying glass. Oh, the bottom bottom screen. Yes, yes. On the so I'll click on it. The little house button is your home page. Mm -hmm. And everyone that you follow on Instagram is going to appear here. Only the people that you follow. Oh. That so if I don't follow anyone, I won't get anything. Exactly, yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yes. So that's why it's important to follow people as well. I'm going to go over that next. Mm. Um, the, this icon here is searching. Which icon is that? The magnifying glass. Oh, oh, yes. Okay, yeah. So we have the home button which is people that we follow if we don't follow uh -huh. anyone we won't see anyone here our magnifying glass which is the second icon is our search icon this is how we find people family friends public figures uh -huh. companies the would that be a would that be a better way of finding people like i've tried to find people just generally on the computer would this be better at finding them going this way? You use you use Instagram on the laptop? No, not in. I don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> but I just search for them. Well, this, yes, uh, in for, yes. If if it's some like who are you trying to uh, like a public figure or your family? No, someone I knew, you know, fifty years ago. <laughs> Uh, well, yes, if you search for their first name and last name, that is where you would have to go to the magnifying glass icon. So that would be better than just generally looking for them. Well, if they have a social media account, that's how you can try to easily find them. Yes, if, they, if, you, if you think you know they may have an Instagram account. Oh, yeah, yeah, probably yeah. not. If they don't, if you don't think they have one, they most likely won't be on here. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. 
So the third icon in the middle is like a little play button. This is a new feature Instagram has created. It's called Instagram Reels, R-E-E-L-S. And this is a place for videos only. You can see it's a place where you could just see videos and <laughs> you could scroll for hours and look at yeah. videos. It's kind of addicting. So try to not <laughs> stay there for hours. But yeah, you see how the kid and her father's dancing? Well, that third icon is going to show you all types of videos, funny videos, marketing oh. videos, animal videos. Oh. So sometimes people get warped up and they stay an hour scrolling yes. for the funny I videos. So the fourth icon, it looks like a little shopping bag. That is actually another new feature on Instagram, and it's a place to shop, which is kind of um, different, but yes, you can purchase items on Instagram. Yeah. I personally haven't shopped on Instagram ever before, but people are starting to. If we scroll down, you may be confused, but what actually are they selling? <laughs> you're gonna have to click on each photo to see what exactly they're selling. So this here, I guess it's the dress that they're selling. And it kind of works just like any other shopping website online where you can add it to your cart and use either a credit card, PayPal to purchase these items. Um, I, it's becoming more popular, I guess. I, I do not know anyone really personally who uses Instagram to shop for clothes or items, but I know Instagram is trying to make it more popular because they have their own section now for it. It kind of, many of their audience didn't really enjoy them adding shopping to Instagram because they wanted to stay a photo and video app but they did add shopping and you could also scroll down for hours and see if anything interests you as well. And the last icon to the right hand side is once again, our profile. If you do not have any pictures, it's going to be blank. You can see our circle icon that says RSS. That is our profile picture. If we, if I clicked on that picture that says RSS, I could change it to any other picture that I wanted to. And that's how you would change it when you have your Instagram. You simply just click on that circle area and you can use any picture on your phone or just take a picture of yourself on Instagram to change that photo. And that photo, you can always change it. It's not permanent. And you can show, that's how other people easily find you. And lastly, I'll just go over the icons at the top before we end. Because Instagram has a lot of buttons and features. So at the top of our screen, we have three icons, a plus, a heart, and a circle with a kind of like a lightning bolt. The plus sign is how to add photos and videos of yourself. So if you wanted to upload um, a picture, so you went outside, you enjoy, you, enjoy, you enjoyed the day, you like the flowers, the park, you wanted to upload that photo, it is the plus sign at the top of the screen. So it, ha it has to be a photo. Like, no, it could be a photo you take spontaneously, but it but also photos in your gallery as well you can use. And does that go directly to Facebook at the same time? No, it only goes to Facebook at the same time if your accounts are connected. So in the beginning, I said, if you use Facebook to sign up for Instagram, then yes, it goes to both. If not, no. It is a little heart button. And I'm going to click on it so you can see what that is. 
this is a place where all of the people that follow you and like your photos are shown there in the heart section. So I think someone said before, someone may have followed you, but you didn't know who it was. Well, every time that you get um, a new follow, it's going to appear in that heart section. When someone likes your photo, you can see it in the heart section. The last icon before we end the session today, you see it's a circle and a lightning bolt. That is how you message people on Instagram. So if I clicked on that, um, I could find people that I follow and send them a message. I mean, you can message Joe Biden if you want to. He may not read your message, but yes, you can message anybody on Instagram if they're public. If they are private, you have to make sure and wait until they follow you back. So like they talked about previously, private is very a good feature on Instagram if you only want to stay with your inner small circle because you won't have strangers following you or messaging you. So being private is a good way to stay clear of those messages. However, Instagram can't always provide the best um, security and make sure everyone gets knocked out of your profile. So make sure you stay clear of scammers or people that you may not know, but they could be using your friend or family's name because you never know. Always verify and make sure. Never send money on Instagram or put in your social security information or personal information about you because even though they may say it is your family or friend, you never know. A lot of hacking techniques today, they put, they put your family member's friend's name as their profile, and they can say, yes, I am this person, I need help, but it is a very common scam technique. So always, call your family member, friend, say, hey, did you send me a, a message on Instagram to verify and make sure that it is true? Because there, lately there has been scammers on Instagram pretending to be people they are not. And once again, if it's a public figure, a brand, and let's say you wanted to shop on Instagram, make sure they have the verified blue check mark. Once again, I'll show you. See, for Joe Biden, he has the blue check mark. This is going to be the same for brands, companies. They're going to have the blue check mark. So, not all companies are going to have a check mark. It goes through a strict procedure where you have to do a, an application and show that you have a huge following. So check marks are more for big audiences to just make sure that you're talking to the correct company or person. So let's say if you wanted to talk to a senator or a representative in the government, they're most likely going to have a check mark. So let me just show you. So where we have um, our section that says classes, mm -hmm. we have technology resources right mm -hmm. here. And I've been updating this page where we have tutorials from other classes oh, great. and class recordings. Mm -hmm. Where was that again? On the, on the, it's too small, I don't see it. Oh, I see it rssny.org is our website. We're gonna to go to classes, technology resources. And in this week, I'm going to put up this PowerPoint under the section, how to tech. So you can um, go over the steps on making your account private and learning, uh, keep learning about Instagram. Mm -hmm.